Alrighty, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Hopefully we got everything online. Let me do a quick check and then we can just continue with work. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like we got everything we need. So, uh, what we are doing again is uh, working on UEFN, working with UEFN, uh, for, uh, Unreal Editor for Fortnite. We are gonna try to make a game with that. Uh, probably arms race game with many moving elements. See how that one will go. So let's get to it. That's uh, we have our trusty, trusty documentation. Always needed, always friendly. So uh, mainly, I would like to really dive into verse. So let's learn what uh, that language can let us do because we can bet it's gonna eventually end up in uh, in uh, Unreal. So. Let's work with it, with that assumption. Let me just organize my scene here a little bit. I know, I know, boring and all that, but it kinda needs to be done. All right. Okay, okay. All right, got that in and let's get to it. So let's just do a quick remap of what we did last time. I can see the vote on the YouTube, by the way, and if any of these streams I keep uh, on public, so you can always access them. Uh, we set up uh, some verbs. We are going through the documentation for the elimination project. Uh, we are not using the te template. I want to recreate everything from scratch because the goal here is to is to learn and to figure out how these things work. So we set up this uh, game manager object. Uh, that for now is uh, has just some public variables. Some array, public, uh, some public array, and a reference for ga end game device. And we have uh, how many eliminations needed to be win, and that gets set up by the length of our array. So we got that down. And let's get to it. We got like an hour or so. So let's get to that. Uh, we are probably gonna just slowly go through documentation, super boring, but that's how <laughs> different open sometimes is. Well, I mean, it's not boring, it can be boring to watch, but it's definitely not boring for me, so... I'm gonna leave your decision up to you. Alright, so we have here these scripts, and we already, I think, have gone through this. So here we are on begin place, setting a eliminations to win integer on uh, length of our weapons grant trap. So, 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 I think I did not necessarily finish our weapon grunter. I don't have here all of them, so let's fix that. Need to get our uh, item grunter 5 and 6. Alright, that's gonna give us 6 different elements. And let's see what's next step in our trusty documentation. Alright, so the code above shows the logic that sets the game rule of how many eliminations are needed to win. Yep, that's equal to our amount of uh, item granters. And we are mixing, we are not gonna shuffle that. I want, uh, I like, kind of like in the CSGO, when you have the exact uh, sequence of weapons that you have to go through to win. I much more prefer this way of doing it rather than trying to shuffle, shuffle the system, so... Let's keep it this way, no shuffling. Alright, so now we can get to the next part. Uh, players are added to the map to keep track on... Uh, wait, the code above shows the event, uh, players are eliminated. Alright, let's see that. So, Grant Next Weapon is a agent, agent void. So, this is we are exciting a new function. Uh, so, we are creating here a new function. Uh, do we get on the end the look of the whole verse code? We don't. That's a bit annoying. I'm not seeing. Uh, almost through with the documentation. I don't know if we have that many things done already. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, da -da -da. We have our event handles when the player is eliminated. So, uh, wait, do we have this? I think we are missing this condition though. Wait, what's this? 
Okay, I'm missing here a few stuff. We have uh, collected all players. No, we haven't even collected the players. We have just uh, set up the weapons and set up our amount of eliminations. To list. Set, ah, okay, we, we did just this part last time. Okay. And then shuffle it, and then we did not continue here. So let's just have a quick look over it. So, 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 so. Uh, we need to get all. Get play space. So, this is something like get all actors of class. We are just gonna collect all our actors. And. Where is it in the flow though? Oh, it's under. Uh, it's all happening after and begin play. Alright, let's just add that. So we want to get all players, which we are specifying. I think that's us specifying a new variable. Wait, is it? But because I haven't declared it now. Yeah, I forgot what this means. Um, no, that must be already set up variable. Are we setting that variable somewhere else or is it from some library? That did not declare it as a variable, so I don't think this is variable. Okay, let's keep on going and see if we can figure it out later. I'm gonna get play space, and that's gonna get us all of our players. Let's close it in, and then it creates a loop. So for each of those players, uh, we wanna get elimination game player wait is that no that's not previously specified variables so that's something new as well I'm pretty sure we are calling function from the library with this uh, let's see any chance we can actually read through it so let's see for tonight let me put let me post some question to the chat you guys please feel free to feel free to answer our vote. So let's start Q and A here, and we're gonna figure out something like. Choo -choo -choo. Let's try something original. Ah, uh, now nah, I'm gonna do the same time as uh, same thing as last time. <laughs> we're gonna do. Uh, are you thinking and about making games for Fortnite? Well, Fortnite is apparently a mistake here, which is access, which is understandable. There is possibly some nice future there, so who knows? Stream running, okay. Yep, seems like it is. So what I wanted is to find this all player. Okay, nothing. Here. So, right, it's gonna be a bit tougher, so let's try to find the whole API reference and find no. Okay, that's pretty useless. Oh, okay, this is not loading the whole re reference. Though. How do I? Is there a way for me to? S but if I no, that's for uh, that's filtering. So maybe I'm just not searching for it properly. I may have just... Okay, look at that, we got maybe something. Right, what if I press health if, if in function, I'm gonna get the total number of... The, uh, no, these are all just questions. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's just... Uh, I would love to see it with like an API library or something, but... I guess we are not gonna get this. Okay, I'm gonna have to live with the fact that this is a variable, or fu that's not variable, it's probably function. Some predefined function in Unreal, so let's let's stop messing around and actually keep on writing. So we're gonna have our form elimination game player that's equal to all players. And wait, I'm pretty sure I have syntax wrong. Yep. 
all right and that we are gonna have to add like this and what should happen for all these we are gonna ask if our fourth character which is just a reference to any fortnite character and we are gonna call some function from there elimination game player let's try it no i'm so used to pressing uh, enters that i just automatically i just ignore so uh which is which is annoying because i have to press here shift enter which is what what is it am i writing in word do i if this is gonna keep on going i'm gonna be better off writing all this in google documents or something uh, we're gonna continue with this so if this subscribe on player limit okay so i see and now i understand so we are basically with this running a for loop that's gonna bind or subscribe as it is called here a on player eliminated events so our gamer my gamer manager knows that any character was eliminated for character and we wanna get here a elimination no, eliminated event, okay. Name. Name. And eliminated event. And we are not gonna subscribe, not subscribe Apple. Subscribe and let's set it to on player eliminated. This is such a weird syntax. Let me see. Wait, did I mess up somewhere here? Why is he yelling at me? Oh, I have to get Fortnite player character. Okay. Eliminated event. Dot. Let's wait. What's the issue here? Eliminated event seems correct. Let me go through it one more. Let me go through it one more time. Let's try to figure out what's wrong here. Oh, well, we don't want them to be separated, but... Oh, we do, but not this much. That's weird. Oh, okay, there's some weird space. Wait, what? No, it does have spaces. Hmm, weird. All right, never mind. Um, okay, what would you suggest me? I'll get... I missed these suggestions from Raidra. Okay, I've got all players. Get play space. That seems quite all right. And for our if our fourth character, if the if the uh, character that we are connecting with, does that suppose the possibility of it not being a character? Why is that that if statement? I don't know if there are other characters accessible than fourth character. So let's get me elimination game. On player, we wanna get fourth character, and for that we are gonna get fourth character. Eliminate, eliminate it. I thought so. Did event. And we're gonna subscribe that and on player eliminate it. Eliminate. No wait, this one is correct. Let me write it one more time. Yeah, but I don't have declared that on player eliminated a function, do I? No, that because I'm uh, subscribing it, but I thought I thought that I have to subscribe it to our own thing here. Hmm. Not sure if I fully understand really what's happening here. Hmm. Let's try to sim. On player. 
Eliminate it. No, I'm pretty sure this is correct. All right, let's see what is the issue. We are subscribe on player eliminated and hmm, that looks correct to me. What are we missing? Is it gonna actually? Yeah, of course not. Thanks, unknown. That's exactly what's helpful. Yeah, no, now I have this on player eliminated. So do I have to create that function first? Because that's what I thought. I think it's throwing me an error because I don't have that function. Alright, let me see. If I create it. Result. Elimination. Uh, result, so that means we are gonna get result from who, well, probably who eliminated or whatnot. Can return it as void and equal. Fucking knew it, dude, why didn't you put it together? This is, this is gonna throw people off, it's gonna throw you an error while we are writing it, let's see. Okay, now I have to, well, I'm gonna get it into it back later, so let's just put this way lower. On player eliminated, what we are gonna do? We get the result from our elimination status, and you know, let's keep it simple. Let's, why are you complaining this time? You don't like printing. You're gonna have very difficult dev life if you don't like printing. Let's just print here. Player eliminated. What do you mean out of scope? We are not out of scope. <sighs> On player eliminated? No, this should be correct. Why are you complaining? Wait, these lines are always so confusing. They need to be like this. But no, I want this to be inside the function. Why doesn't it let me? Why doesn't it let me include that print inside the function? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we are not gonna help, thanks. Uh, result. Just try to keep on writing. We have. Eliminate, no, eliminating character. Our result. Okay, so now this is gonna return us the character that eliminated the uh, that player. That makes sense. So result eliminating character. Now what we wanna do? Why are you complaining? It's complaining before I even finish writing. That's quite disturbing. Eliminating character. I'm gonna check if our if uh, port character is uh, uh -huh, is the same class, I suppose, something like this. Miss maybe spinning complete bullshit right now. So like, if you guys, if you <laughs> if you think that uh, if you are here to learn, you probably should leave. I am <laughs> I am learning this myself. So I'm quite likely spilling complete bullshit. Okay, we're gonna get our four character and I'm gonna first try to make it work and then I'm gonna try to understand what the hell I'm actually doing. Eliminating, no, elimin, elimin, why? Gonna eliminating. Character. 
question mark for some reason. We're gonna ask it politely if it is what we want it to be. No, dude, why are you being annoying? Stop it immediately. If and we're gonna add here additional condition, and that's if I'll eliminating. What's the difference between eliminating agent and eliminating character? I'm gonna really have to dig deep into documentation after finishing this. So our fourth character, we're gonna get agent. What's the difference between fourth character and fourth and agent? Is that a class? Is that like a two different classes or is that subclass? We're gonna get agent. And here we are gonna grant next weapon, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not entirely sure we have this grant next weapon function created though. No, we don't. Am I crazy or is this code just skipping over things? I could really use to have the full version of this. This is a bit messy. <laughs> Alright, here we are gonna grant next weapon to eliminate think agent. You know, guess what? Why would uh, why would it work, eh? <sighs> Let's see. Are we missing any of the libraries that we should have? Random diagnostics simulation game game now. I did it last time, so I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't think any of the following code should. Uh, oh wait, because we don't collect the actors first. No, but this is all set up after it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Maybe that's it. So we're gonna do if set agent map. Oh, hey, Lompoli FJ. How are you doing? I'm doing somewhat well, well enough, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> Trying to learn Verse and uh, UEFN, see how useful it actually is. How are you doing, man? What are you working on? I got our agent map. And this is elimination game player. Oh, wait, is it specified here? No, but I don't create that variable. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> no. These are these are weird this is weird thing. I don't understand this. What's this? Explain. Chat GPT explain. <laughs> well it fixed more of more most of our errors, so I suppose we are getting somewhere. No, I'm gonna really have to read properly through documentation after finishing this. Right, let's see, what did we get ourselves into? If, uh, if we are, why is there even if statement? Add players to a map to track their progress. Yeah, sure, but why is there if statement to do that? Set agent map to elimination game player. Makes sense. That's equal to one. Through trying to learn in QE5. <laughs> it can be tough if you if you have don't have few experience with it. Uh, what what the, what are you struggling with right now? Or is there anything uh, what uh, what specifically are you learning about UE? Because I think that's also what a lot of uh, lot of uh, beginners make as a mistake, just trying to learn everything at once, and that's generally not a good idea. Would not recommend. Uh, let's finish this code, and then we are gonna see. 
see why we are constantly being thrown errors at us. Uh, first, hit them, grantor. And go to item grantor device. Okay, so here I, sp I'm, I don't know where I'm creating this variable because I don't specify it somewhere. So is there are those like variables that come with those libraries? Alright, we're gonna put here a. Or does it get created automatically? Is that like a local variable inside that function? That would make sense. I'm not sure. Do do do. Oh wait, now I got lost. No wait, this is not what I put here. Did I? Yeah, I did. Never mind. <laughs> uh, weapon item. No, wait, is that the weapon item grinder? Isn't that the thing I renamed? It was stupid, I shouldn't have renamed it. <laughs> okay, now I see. Okay. Weapon grind. Okay, now I see. Weapon grind as list, and I'm specifying the index, which of these is it gonna set. I still get an error, because of course I do. Okay, uh, actually, I watch, you watch back in the tutorial on YouTube. Okay, gotcha. Uh, now you are trying to FPI make an FPS game. That sounds good. Sounds good. FPS game is good way, a good way, a good plan to start. You can use a bunch of presets. It can, it could be a good idea to have like a specific goal for it when, when you are actually learning something. It may be a good idea to have some dead, some short deadlines, something specific that you want to achieve. It usually uh, helps you be a bit more motiva motivated when uh, actually doing it. Just some some two cents throwing at you. Stop! Dude, what's this? I want to click here. <laughs> I hate this. This, ter this is terrible. Do I have to type my way there? Alright. Uh, so, first item grantor. Yeah, I do think that must be a local variable. Really gotta dive into the documentation. We are gonna grant item for some reason. It's called grant item. And we are calling it elimination game player. Good. Do I still have errors? Oh yeah, I do. Of course I do. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> you can't solve it by deleting the line. That's not gonna stupid solution, man. So okay, I don't I don't think this should be on the same line. I think this should be uh, this. Why is it trying to delete the lines of the code? I watched your UE5 tutorial FPS game a lot. A uh, new line thought. I'm glad to hear that, man. Just now, I'm glad it helped, and now it's up to you. Now it's up to you to make something cool. Uh, blueprints are confusing. I, I suppose it can be confusing depending on, on where you are coming from. If you just keep on keep on working on it, on it and learning honestly, I think you can you can get it very quickly. Very quickly means like few weeks to few months. <laughs> just just to be clear. <laughs> okay, let's try to try to understand this. Variable agent in treasure map, yeah. That's what happens when you are just trying to retype the code. There is an error and you don't understand why. Well, I suppose you have to start by learning it. But still. First item, okay, let's try it. Should these if statements really be in the same if... Oh no, they should be in the same for loop. So this is running... So, yeah, okay, gotcha. So my for loop is running all these three if statements. Let's make sure we got the syntax correct. Looks like we do. And okay, on our if uh, set all right. 
Wait, what's this? Add players to a map to track the progress. What? What's this? If you are setting agent map to elimination game player equal to what? Okay, I don't understand this at all. Hmm. Um, your main language is Turkish because of this I'm struggling, but yeah, I, c I can see that, that's for sure. Gonna, if you don't understand properly the language, that's for sure makes it even more difficult. So, but I mean, once you get through it, everything else is gonna be just super easy. So <laughs> I would try to look at it in that way, that you are like, hey, if you manage to conquer to that, and I'm pretty sure you can, then everything else is gonna be just super easy to learn. Alright, let's see what's this, this bunch of nonsense here. Oh, I still don't have this here, this grand uh, new weapon. Why are you specifying it later? This doesn't make sense. I mean, from the tutorial point of view, because I'm like... You read the code from up to low to down and it doesn't show anywhere the whole code. It's okay, let's try it. If current a number, grant next weapon. Yeah. This is calling this function to. Okay, no, I get that. But why do I have error here? Error should be here. This function doesn't exist. Uh, let's just try to put it here as well and see if that solves our problem. I'm not sure why is it telling me that the issue is here. Because it shouldn't be. Hmm. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I am I am very likely not going to make uh, any more tutorials. I'm not super interested in making more tutorials now. So probably not. All right, let's put this in. Let's actually put this function in. I wish I could uh, there is like another elimination project that I could see, but I don't think I can open two projects at the same time, like I would do with Unreal to read through it, so that's very, very messy. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay. Why is there a space? No spaces. Alright, we want to create that grand next weapon. That's the function we are missing. And some things we are gonna need there. Is our agent and agent is equal to agent. Thanks, that was helpful. And then it returns void. Alright. Ah, okay. So this is for deciding the victory condition as well, because we are gonna get here if variable current item number that's an integer okay that at least we can somewhat follow along this is actually oh i see because it's a constant it's not a variable that's i see now okay that makes sense so that's why you create it inside the function because and you don't specify it as a variable because it's constant and you're not changing it okay okay now i'm starting to catch on a bit the wheels are turning here Sadly enough in the wrong direction, but we're gonna figure it out. It's fine uh, da -da -da. What channel would I recommend don't don't look for channel just make games <laughs> honestly <laughs> uh, You need uh, you need basics Which you can get from like first few videos then you need until documentation and just go make stuff <laughs> uh, Figure out what you want to make and then try to make it. I wouldn't try to really overcomplicate it more than that uh, but 
I don't. Uh, there are probably channels that are pretty good with way more up to date information than my tutorials. Which even though these fundamental principles, we don't really need to have up to date information for. But uh, but 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 I am not really f watching any YouTube tutorials, so uh, so I can't really recommend. I it depends how you like to learn. I don't think. Yeah, it really purely depends on how you like to learn. So 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 if uh, if you really want to if you want to just uh, follow along someone then 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 uh, just following tutorials straight up could be helpful but I would probably not recommend learning that way I would rather try to figure out a project and just looking specifically for ways how to make that project or join a paid course or something like that or course that's gonna really teach you fundamentals but I would probably recommend rather to start doing stuff yourself first just to figure out how you feel about it and how you like it and then decide if you want to join a course or something it's probably uh, would be would be my recommendation all right we got here four environment okay i didn't finish writing got distracted agent map That's if our is victory condition met. This is so disturbing. Uh, they are, I am, ah, this is very weirdly structured tutorial because it's like declaring functions later than using them. That makes it very confusing to to learn from this because you're like, yeah, it's just using this, but then it declares it later. So you you find bunch of stuff here that like don't make sense yet and they make, make sense later which makes it uh, not particularly good way to to learn if you already know some programming because if you don't know anything then I guess you don't care but uh, it doesn't really let you let you learn it well because you don't have this built in, uh, built in structure in your head that like follow code slowly follows the rules as it goes from up and down do 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 to do so okay what we what we're doing here uh, we have our uh, if victory condition is met our current item number we're gonna return it to true if that is true, we are gonna end game. That makes sense. Who is this agent we are talking about? Identify yourself. Game has been won. Depends on who you ask, but yeah. All right, if it wasn't the case though, that's where it actually start. I said else. Then we are gonna set current item number it should equal to current item number plus one can we do just uh yeah i'm not sure if it's gonna work so i don't wanna mess around right now but it should right well i don't know i suppose it should to do current, current item number and we are uh, again forgot we are doing small set and after setting this, you want to put in a if. Item grantor. Weapon item grantors, okay. So I declare this item. <sighs> now it's starting to make way more sense. A lot of these things I'm referencing in these functions are you are declared in this function so if i call the function from here i get access to them here <laughs> should have done it first jesus this is not really following the consequences uh, da -da -da. no problem man good luck with your on your learning journey good luck that it's tough at times but i'm pretty sure that you can figure it out and thank you for chatting too Do -do -do. okay weapon item grant 
should I? No, we call it differently. We called it. Aha, uh -huh, weapon grunter list. Just stupid not to use the same names as they use. Just, just to be clear. Grunter list. And that's minus one. Shouldn't be plus one. Current item number. Why minus one? Do you start on top? I thought that you start on the bottom. Hmm. Minus one. Item grant. Uh, grant item to the agent. And the last if statement is set our agent map agent map. What's the difference between agent and Fortnite character? I still don't understand that part. I have to I think that's gonna be about the all code we write today and the rest of the time spent just reading documentation. Hopefully to understand it. And we are still not getting our rate of the error. That makes me very, very... Uh, how would I say it? Not confused. Annoyed. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, okay. I take it back. I know it is not a bad, pa bad word for it. Okay. So we are still mixing the is victory condition, yeah, Matt, that makes sense. No, it's it's victory condition, Matt. Okay, and let be elimination number. Wait, I think I use it though. I think I renamed it. Again, stupid. No, I don't. It's specified here. That's a constant here. Okay. Good. I did not mess up this time. This one is not on me. Elimination. Number. And we know it's a integer. Then we put here some weird words that I am gonna pretend I understand. Transacts, there we go. And we are gonna have it as a logic equal to. And what are we gonna set our boolean to? Well, apparently not a boolean. If so, if our elimination number is equal to number of, no, eliminations to eliminations to win, then You're gonna return true, and if it's not the case, we are gonna return false. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, we are still missing the end game function. Ah, oh, that's it right here. Endgame is our agent equal to agent. What the fuck is agent? Equal to void. And endgame device is our reference, and we can activate it 
wait, is that is that how I have called the referent? Uh, end game device ref. Is it small? No, it's bigger. Eh? Okay. We still have it an error. Let's assume that the error is my fault messing something up. So what is it saying? Got the end of the line following with if. Uh, no, it did not. If first time grunter, item grunter, weapon grunt. No, I'm pretty sure this should be correct. What is wait? What's this item grunter device? Isn't that my no? Okay, here we have it. Wait. Let me specify here and make it weapon grunter list this is item okay yeah i gotcha so this is a specifier of a class okay let's see what we have of course our search doesn't work no i think that's probably just some stupid part of these lines not being quite correct let me see No, I don't have here a definition. We don't do definitions here. Should this be not equalized? No, do I want to do it on? No, I do want to do it on begin line. So it should be under. Just some stupid as block end following. No, I do have here a code block. It should there be some like return on the end? Bullshit like this? Nah, I didn't think so. It was just a really weak try. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, let's try to find that code here. Uh, uh, we are doing first time, there we go. Let's try to check the code for. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. It's just syntax, of course. We are missing here a those weird double dots, which did not. Wait, what the hell? No, it is here. Okay. So okay, where is your? And should it be after everyone? Let's see. Um, now, yeah, we are following the function here, so it should be. What if it should be the same thing here? Oh no, I do have here one. Then why are you complaining? Where are you complaining this time? Uh, else. And game else does else have to have this? Really? Oh well, I suppose it's. I did see that coming. Okay. Let's see. I was one. I was thinking that that's not. That's not. So no, we do need else here. And. Okay, let's go. If our end game, if our end game ends, that's gonna equalize to. Uh, 
Hey, and Jane, do I think my country is against communism? <laughs> I, d I don't want to break it to you, but I live in the Czech Republic and uh, we broke free from communi communism like 1993 from Soviet Russia, so <laughs> uh, we are still a bit like on the... Uh, we are still kind of like here and there. I have heard there are some trouble in Canada. I am not gonna claim to understand what's going on. But I heard it's not going particularly well. Yeah. Uh, Czech Republic has few issues. Bunch of issues, bunch of good stuff. But uh, you pro about the, uh, the English, English level of uh, communication as I am demonstrating right now. <laughs> No, uh, people here don't speak English that much, so probably wouldn't be able to, uh, wouldn't be able to live off quite well. I w you would fight for my freedom. <laughs> you would fight for your freedom, so we are free to def whatever we want. That would be amazing. Well, is someone blocking you from developing whatever you want? I haven't heard about that. Like I said, a bit out of the loop, so it's very possible that I re literally haven't heard. Let's try to figure out this shit, though. No, like the, the spaces there shouldn't matter. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure it's just one line somewhere. Wait, we got here if statement that's gonna. Okay, it starts here. I'm pretty sure we have issues somewhere here. Yeah, look at that. What's, what is it complaining about? Functions declared the scopes are not... Do I have to do it here? Do you want me to declare after plug and play? No! It should be on the same level. I mean I can... Again, I don't see the appropriate level here because this documentation sucks. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. But, oh. <sighs> There's this weird setup of lines that I have to... And this doesn't even calculate it as under it, or does it? No, I don't think it's uh, properly setting the levels here. How the fuck do I get access to the whole code? This is... Like these snippets of code are nice, but quite useless if I don't see how it all comes together. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna just paste it all to chat GPT and he's gonna figure it out. Okay, uh, here we are doing... let's see. It starts here. Let's assume that uh, I made a mistake somewhere here. So on player eliminate it. We are getting a result from elimination result. Return should be void. That's quite correct. And... Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just that this function isn't closed properly. I think that's what's happening here. So <laughs> this is hilarious. It's just these these debugs are useless. Like you make mistake here, and everything after it apparently is fucked. That sounds weird. Why would that be unreachable? Stop lying to me. So okay, we can fairly safely assume that it just can't read this function if it's like this. So uh, we have here a few options. Uh, one is uh, that it's on the wrong level right here, which don't think makes much sense. I mean, I can just gonna put everything above the gameplay. Or we can just try to put... I don't think that's what's actually the issue. Let me try to go through that code. Uh, on player eliminated. Okay, we know this is equal to a result. Is equal to elimination result. That's good. That's uh, getting us how many? Okay, we got here unnecessarily space, but I don't think that was causing the issue. And then we are doing here print string. We're printing something. We're printing just a text into a log, and we're gonna getting our eliminating character is equal to our result from eliminating character, quite correct, 
for I'm dead. We are getting if if statement. This thing doesn't even use semicolons, that makes it worse, not better. Okay, we are doing grant next weapon to eliminating agent gets correct. Why doesn't it tickle? For some reason it doesn't accept it as a function, but it should because it's on the same level as the begin play. What if I put it? Yeah, that doesn't seem to be really good, <laughs> good option. It should be on the same level, right? These are independent functions. Let me just try to move the shit there. But no, they can't be on the... Of course they can't be on the same level. Let's try to just move it back. Okay, look, that accomplished something, I think. <laughs> Why are you complaining about something that's above you? That doesn't make sense. If I change something here, it complains about something above it. That shouldn't even... Uh, okay. Let's see. What's the time? Fuck. I was looking forward to reading documentation today. Apparently not. What do you mean no expression? You got an expression right below you. Alright, let's see it. Uh, we are having an error here. I'm not necessarily sure that that error is actually here, but let's see. We got here our agent void. Then we have here some if our variable for our current item number which is integer as our agent that's quite correct if it's another other additional statement then you should end the game or else it should set current item number okay This isn't even registering its own if statement. Why? Is it really just a line set up like this? This is a bit humiliating, not gonna lie. We are missing D here. No, I think it's small one. Okay, can I get actual example of this code, please? Thank you, Unreal. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I think there is actual, actual version of this. Wait, let me see. No, oh, wait, it is running? Ah, oh, fuck, okay. Uh, elimination. Okay, bunch of useless stuff. Elimination game device. I think this should be the similar code, so let's have a look at it. So here we declare all the variables on begin. Of course it's on the same line as on begin, because it should be. That's what I thought. Does order of these matter? No, it shouldn't matter. 
and I really wish I could open them. Wait, can I? Maybe like just <laughs> like I'm gonna have to screenshot this somehow. Could I? Could I just like copy it? No. Okay, never mind. It's too late anyway right now. Gonna tackle it on probably not Monday. Who knows? But, but gonna tackle it next stream. Hmm. Whenever that will be next week. You know what? First thing first, actually. Before that, I want to understand what the hell is agent. Okay. Alright, give me... Give me, give me, give me, give me... API reference is not gonna give me what I want, even though it should. So let's put here a language reference and... It, tell me what this agent. Oh, you don't. Okay, never mind. Please explain what is agent. Agent class. Thank you. Okay, never mind. I guess I am not gonna know what is agent. This is everything. Are you kidding me? This class has no members, but what is it? <laughs> what is it doing? Okay. I, I want real agent, not fake agent. <laughs> Come on, man. Is this, is this really everything? No, is it like more clicks I can get through? This is bad. Agent to player, okay. Now these are just people asking, but I want to know what agent is. Player inherits from agent. Okay, thank you. Why do I have to find it on the forum and not on the official documentation? Are you using if statements for casting? That's weird. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. So that's kind of what I thought. It's like a class that uh, that player is derived from, I think. Okay, that's gonna help me at least understand it a little bit. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Longer than usually. Well, I would like to have it at least about an hour usually. So that's about it. Hope you are all having a nice day fighting against communism and whatever you are up to. <laughs> uh, yep, that's it. Gonna have a nice weekend, all of you, hopefully. See you around. Bye bye.